and above leads to a whole nother level. Look at this here. No end in sight. It's a nice little relic. Four five-way intersection. Visually, it's getting pretty insane. No little doorway on that one. Nope. Question is, why is this here? Oh, watch that. Oh, no. We just have to get through this icy hell. We're checking out a pretty nice looking preserved gangway that has been untouched probably for at least 50, 60 years. Timbers leading through a manway because we spotted this interesting looking wall here, probably to control airflow. Little doorway going up into the workings. Oh, wow, how far back does that go? Oh, wow. Yeah, it goes. Check this out. Little bit of a low clearance, but that goes back as far as the eye could see. Gob walls and timbers. So when they got done working a section like this, they would wall it off, keep the air flowing in the main gangway there. And above, there's more workings. Leads to a whole nother level. the first of many. Let's go down this way and see what it leads to. Wow. And that just keeps going. Into the depths. These uh, pointy looking timbers here. Yep. That's how they'd stop the buggy to be coming down the gangway and a little, you know, usually a child slam that right in the wheel and it would stop it because the coal buggies, they didn't have brakes. Well, people got mangled and killed doing that. <laughs> the, the children did that work, huh? Yep. So these timbers were definitely propped up against the right wall here came down one by one. Looks like it levels out up there. Yeah, no uh, major collapses in this direction so far. Oh, and there's more turns. I think it's an intersection, right? It goes to the yep. right and straight. Look at this here. No end in sight. Well, this is going to be quite the journey. Stalactites hanging. Well, I think this might get a little confusing. Wow. That's cool. Really? That was a lunchbox? They talked to one. It's a nice little relic. This is an old fashioned. This is a car by a just right car by container. I could tell by the oh, cool. stamping. I bet you guys had their friggin' lunch here because they see tuna cans, or sardine cans rather. Oh yeah, check it out. I mean, obviously they stored uh, timbers and stuff here, but... I mean, really, you're going to take your lunch break anywhere you, you wanted to, right? I mean, anywhere where you're out of the way and... Anywhere where you can sit for a little bit. So there's a little bit of a spill, but I bet you it just keeps going after this. So over that little spill there, turned into a one, two, 
three, if you count that collapse, four, five-way intersection. So I guess we'll just take whichever way looks the best at the moment. Some tracks there, that might be a dead end. Whoa. Another turn, low clearance, but I believe I see tracks underneath here. Yeah, there is. So many possibilities. How's it look in that direction? gets a little nasty but I guess once you get around these little roof spills it probably opens back up wow yeah, that's a little messy just a smidge well then they learned doing this you come around the corners you never know what the hell might be hiding wow look at this jeez Visually, it's getting pretty insane. Look at how that rock rolled out. That's just how it formed, huh? Yeah. Wow. I might have lost my bearings a little bit, but I remember seeing this. And that turn. This is scary and confusing. So we were already down this here. I think so. We think. We'll find out. There's your carbide part. There's your base to a carbide lamp. This screws into the lamp itself. Oh, okay. And then uh, water drips out of the top into the carbide. The carbide, it produces acetylene gas, and then it comes out through a little burner in the reflector. I don't think we've been in this area yet uh, no we definitely haven't been here based on these tracks no I'm not I don't remember seeing that that was the way out <laughs> somewhere back there yeah I suppose if you walk in circles long enough down here you'll eventually hopefully find your way back Interesting. More turns. Good amount of cold air coming through here. More tracks. Nice looking gob walls. Clearance gets a little bit lower. What's this here? Ready to break off. That's a nice little sight. I think that way would be the uh, would be the other pitch of coal, like above us. Right. So that could walk. That, that could go up. This to, section we were on earlier. Yep, just on a higher level. Yeah, might as well go take it. Yeah. Dead end. I think. Well, see, there's a monkey. That went probably back to where we were just at. Yeah, it, went, it goes over to the next working. We, uh, we boarded it off to the next one. Oh, yeah, check that out. You know, they certainly did that for air. No little doorway on that one. Nope. little passage though looks like solid rock in front of us here oh, this is very, probably where they stopped driving the tunnel end of the line yep that's 100 percent what this is but so what do we have going down at a little bit of a pitch here
whole chute. Doesn't look like it goes up much further. It is kind of cool actually seeing the end though and not just running into a huge collapse. I have a couple questions here. Now, is this the end of the coal reserve? Is this where they just decided they're gonna stop mining? Well, they wrote some dates over here. Was that 35? I honestly don't know if we came from this way or not. No, we didn't. We did not. Nice blast of cold air. It looks like a dead end, though. There's another wooden platform there, too. No kidding. Like you can see there's a wall. See it? Oh, yeah, right there. He just spotted something pretty funny here. A miner had their lunch. That is the shell of a hard-boiled egg. I wouldn't want to smell it down here with all the sardines and hard-boiled <laughs> eggs that they ate. You know, pound for pound, I mean, it's just an excellent source of energy. Yeah, they, they got their protein. They're full for sure. I've seen a lot of empty milk bottles in mines. Lots of sardine cans. I mean, it's a, it's a convenient little lunch. You're right. It'll give you the energy you need. Make it through the day. Look at this. There's more eggs. I guarantee it. Look at that. This is off the beaten path here. The cars were running on either side of the so This was a safe place to sit and hang out. This is far from the... Uh, concrete infrastructure we saw earlier dates 1948 Jake Boss. JCCT78 there's some math that's really cool question is why is this here was it just for doors probably it looks like there's a little hinge on this side Yeah, this looks like your wooden door here. Pieces of it. Probably, probably an air door or something. We got Jake Boss. Best man. Was it Jake the Boss? Or, <laughs> or Jake, Jake Boss. Oh, I Best he, man. He was the boss, all right. What was this all about? To keep going? Looks like it got nasty up here. Wreckage of timbers and fallen ceiling. However, I know where we're at. Do you? I'd oh, like to think so. We started, we went up that way, right? I'm pretty damn sure. We came from that direction. I'm feeling airflow. It's got to be. So this is interesting. You're seeing the top of the collar here where the ceiling originally was. You have a good 10 feet of space between these three-piece timber sets and the roof. Look at the spillage coming from the left side of the roof over there. Hanging on. Well, we're making the crawl out of here and almost forgot this icy situation that we have to navigate through. The last thing we want to do is agitate the icicles and dislodge any of the roof. So we're going to carefully navigate around this. Coming out ass backwards, huh? Oh, watch that. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoops. I meant to do that. <laughs> Should I leave that? People are like, why didn't you say something? <laughs> I saw you going for it, too. Oh, my God. I see my... 
Yeah, that's an inviting sight. We just have to get through this icy hell. These daggers hanging from the ceiling. And we are out of here. That one looks like it's practically holding up the roof. Got some ice pillars. Well, as always, please stay out and stay safe. And we'll see you in the next hole. It just goes. It just goes, huh? I mean, it's up to you. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Holy oh, shit. Around for a while, I'm sure. We're assuming this may be a bucket. I mean, a lot of people ask where the miners went to the bathroom. My response is, well, anywhere that they could <laughs> find some peace and quiet momentarily. Baited bucket. Whoa! Uh, absolutely not. <laughs> you know how many pairs that I've gone through?